Two people hit by cars in two different counties. We're talking children. First in Salt Lake, a 12-year-old expected to be okay after being hit by a car, but then just hours later, a deadly crash involving a teen in Vineyard. That's where we go to news specialist Kara Bracken, who joins us live. Kara, very sad to hear that this teen lost her life. Yeah, and Cheryl, we're hearing from people in the area. We spoke with one person who says he knows this area well. He says that it's designed for cars and pedestrian safety. It's a concern. This is not the first time this has happened, and I'm sure it's not going to be the last. Last night, Orem police and fire were sent to the area of 400 South Vineyard Road after learning a pedestrian had been hit by a car. The victim, a 17-year-old girl, died from her injuries. Police say the driver stayed and is cooperating with the investigation. Daxton Court spends a lot of time driving through the area. He says it's always filled with traffic. Especially in an area where there are so many kids, I think a lot of people are thinking, like, what if that's, you know, my kid? I mean, I drove, when I was driving back, I saw that and I immediately thought, you know, is, is that my family? So it's, it's horrible and it, I think it hits everybody here. Just an hour earlier in Salt Lake County, another autoped crash in Cottonwood Heights. It is tragic. Each accident is tragic. Police telling us a 12-year-old did everything right, crossing a busy street by using crosswalk and still got hit. Always assume you can't be seen. Cool. And just make sure that the road is, is, is stopped before you step out into it. Investigators believe the driver in that crash was impaired. That driver now facing DUI charges and will be booked in the Salt Lake County Jail. At last check, that 12-year-old is now in stable condition. Now, Daxton tells us he would like to see more of those crosswalks that are have those flashing lights to help with pedestrian safety. For now, they're reporting in Vineyard. I'm Kara Bracken. I'll send it back to you, Shara.